It's been a long time since I watched that all the way through. Hey guys, John here, and welcome to Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong. I don't think I've ever seen that animation. I don't think I've sat here long enough to see that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've been wanting to do this project for a really, really long time, and uh, finally getting around to it. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't think I've ever sat on this menu long enough for this stuff to even happen. It's pretty wild. But either way, I have wanted to do this for a long time. I did actually start the game at one point on, uh, on stream. But uh, I never finished it, you know, it was only part way in and was just not happy with the presentation. And I decided it would suit this game better to do it as a recorded project. So here we are. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in to Donkey Kong 64. Let's do this.
time for this moment. Soon Donkey Kong and his pretty little island will be no more. I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that horde of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, Your Excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> Hope for your sake, you're right this time. No. While you'll be busy looking for your precious golden bananas, Cleveland friends, I'll be preparing my lizard flavored surprise. Oh man, we're playing the video game. So this uh, this beginning and first episode and everything definitely gonna be not a ton of of progress just because there's a lot of cutscene and tutorial stuff. Oh yeah, and you slip on banana peels by the way. <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, but yeah, just take a little look, see though around here before we go. We got some TNT over there. Seems like a good thing to keep in the house books and barrels. It's interesting because sometimes DK is portrayed as kind of oafish and stupid, but I mean he has all these books, he clearly listens to music. Well, actually, this is Cranky's from <laughs> the opening of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, and he likes uh, fish and, and candy. Um, <laughs> no, this is, um, I think this is supposed to represent the dolphin that this game was supposed to come out on uh which was the working name for the gamecube um i think that's that's what it was supposed to be a reference to oh yeah and the girder the girder from the original donkey kong where you played as mario and oh well you played as jump man we're not sure if it actually was mario anyway let's go ahead it's just a lot of little references to things which is cool so yeah this is our starting area uh, DK's treehouse, and uh, where we will talk to Cranky here shortly. I'm not going to voice act certain characters like Squawks here, and uh, maybe maybe a few others, but some I will read the uh, read the text for, I suppose, because it wouldn't be an LP of mine without me doing bad voice acting. 
Can I go here yet? No, I can't until after I talk to him. Okay. Uh, anyway, so you might have noticed there too, I should make note. Uh, that when it goes from like a little cutscene to the gameplay that the resolution seems to change. So this game does support widescreen, which is what I'm playing it in. However, the cutscene parts are not, so they get a little squished. So yeah, but the, the thing is, is that we're going to be seeing, at least after we're done with all this tutorial stuff, we're going to be seeing a lot more gameplay than cutscene. So personally, I think it's a... It's a fair trade to uh, to deal with the, the little slight change when it goes to a cutscene just because we can get to see more of the screen and not be confined to a little box. Hello, Cranky. Well, if it isn't my lazy good-for-nothing son, lost your golden bananas again, and where might your flea-bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I'd have thought you would be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Luckily for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having any until you've completed my training barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you've done them all. Yeah. Interesting thing about that is that... Wait, what? What did Cranky mean about the training? Don't you all confused? See what I mean? Like, he acts like a friggin' buffoon, but... Clearly has some intelligence. Anyway, uh, it is kind of weird though. The the lore of Donkey Kong has always been very confusing. A lot of people believe that... Cranky is the Donkey Kong in the original arcade game that Jumpman slash Mario was dealing with. And then people assumed that Donkey Kong Jr. was this DK's father and that he was Cranky's grandson. However, however, uh, Cranky just said that this was his son. So maybe timeline wise, maybe this is Donkey Kong Jr. grown up and later there'll be another but that doesn't really make sense because of Diddy and all of them being in it so yeah the Donkey Kong lore is a little confusing let's just put it that way either way let's do these training tutorials real quick we're gonna need all of these skills and more yep 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 Yep. Down we go. So, one's a faster swim, and one's a more accurate, slower swim. There are going to be some mini games we have to do with that ability that are going to be very, very annoying. All right, what's next? Hmm. Okay. Right. So the controller I'm using is not the original N64 controller. It is not uh, set up that way. It is in fact <laughs> random moves to hit myself. Well done. Uh, it in fact has a right stick. So when it says like you know. C right or yellow button right, I have to just do that on the stick, but it's okay. We will figure it out. <laughs> uh-huh. Barrel tossing. Ironic, you would think that this would be a huge part of the game considering it's Donkey Kong. However, there's actually not a lot of times we actually use this ability. In fact, not entirely sure DK does it much at all. But we learned how to do it. Alrighty. And into this one, which will be the vine base one, yes. Well, are they vines? They look more like ropes that are flying, but you know. And 
that will make you swap the other way, and that'll make you drop. Got it. Do, 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 do. One big issue that people have with this game is knowing where you are in the 3D space because well it's not always obvious because there'll be 2D textures on the 3D plane and it'll be kind of confusing sometimes. Okay. Get the potion from Cranky. Alrighty. Will do. But yeah, so just to explain, we have a we have a jump. We have attacks from a standstill. We have a moving attack. We have a crouch. And then when you jump with that, you jump higher. And then moving crouch is a long jump, uh, similar to like Mario games. And then a crouch attack, which is a roll. And some of these will be pretty useful to us. And as other characters, the jumps and stuff change too. Some jump much higher, so there's that. Hmm, yo, tuck you. I forgot what voice I gave him already. Your time, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what I said, but hey, have this potion. Completely forgot what voice I gave him immediately. Simeon Slam, but us bashing him. Right, you and your missing bodies will be able to slam the ground by pressing these fourth wall breaking buttons I'm talking about, yeah. Uh, whilst in the air, it should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you. Only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this thing. See you later if you're lucky. Alright, thanks. Dad, Grandpa, whatever you are. Uh, there's one more thing we can look at over here. Which these should be here now that we have completed the vine training thing. Yes, okay. See, these actually do look like vines. The other ones look like ropes. But yeah, some people have an issue because the textures of things like the, the ropes and the bananas and the different things you have to pick up can sometimes be a little hard to tell where they are because they're two-dimensional images, you know, in, in the 3D environment. So I'm sure we'll struggle with that some, but hopefully not as, as much as, uh, as others. So here's our banana horde, which you can see is empty. The bananas have N64 logos on them for some reason. And then there's this, which you might think, oh, we can ground pound this. No, we, we cannot. Later, we will have the ability to interact with those ground hill things. But not at the moment. Oh, I actually made that up. I was going to fall. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the water. Just take a quick look. Oh, okay. Could you uh, get back up? Thank you. Turn around. Uh, oh wait, there's actually oranges down there. You know what? That might be useful, so... Maybe we should grab some of those. Oh, we're already at full. Well, that's... That's a thing. Anyway, moving on. So, we make our way out through this cave we find a switch. This is what we needed the ground pound ability for. To open the gate out into the main world. Yep. King K rule. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, we'll have to go take a look. Take a look, it's in a book. It's DK Island. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Banana port. So yeah, these, uh, these are like fast travel options when you find the pair. And, and it's in each of the worlds as well. When you find a pair, then you can teleport between them. We don't currently have that. This is the swap barrel, which isn't currently going to do us any good, but we can take a look at it. It's where you switch characters, and an important thing to note about it is that it also heals you when you go into it, so that can be pretty useful. But we have to go over here. Now, or the camera could swap and make me go the wrong way. That's fine, too, I suppose. 
think I might change from free cam to chimpy cam because the camera then follows the direction you're going more directly. But yeah. Um, hello. Oh, 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 hi. My name is Kalumzi, and I've been locked here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. How could I? It's such a lovely little island full of cute monkeys. So I said no. <laughs> K. Rule says I'm too soft to be a criminal, and I'm just staying here until I've toughened up. <laughs> I'll do anything to be free again. Hey, little monkey. Perhaps you could help poor Kalumzi escape? Oh, go on. I'll be your bestest friend. Uh, yeah, Donkey Kong will help Kalumzi. <laughs> and it is this action opens up a new direction for us and our first golden banana oh Kalumzi so happy now K. Ru has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army if you manage to get a hold of any of these keys please bring them back here to open my locks <laughs> don't tell K. Ru though this has to be our little secret Okay. Alrighty, so we can now teleport back, or banana port, pardon me. There is one thing actually I should show, hold on. Yeah, it's over here. So there are some, <laughs> some ways you can break the game. And I'm not going to really utilize them, but I figured I should at least show the one that I, that I actually know the best. Okay, so swim right into this point. Oh, I missed it. All right, go back. What's funny is when I was when I did that test file just to make sure everything was was working. I got it first try. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fly into this point, and you're now in the in the ship. And if you go over here, this is an opening that's barred off. But if you go into it. It will treat it like you walked through the door properly. And we'll come in here to an area that we are not supposed to be at yet. <laughs> pretty funny. Pretty funny. Yep. So we're actually getting the introduction for B Locker in the wrong place. But I thought I would just show this off because it's something that I can actually do. Um, I should have been reading this, but it's okay. It's a big sawmill in the sky for me, so pay up pronto. Well, we'll, we'll do something more with him later. So we can't go in here. This is a much later level. As you can see, it requires 30 golden bananas to enter. Uh, plus just the fact that the, the thing is gated off, right? But you can actually come in here um, early, so just a little something I thought I'd show. Now, if we try to go out, uh, actually, hold on. Before I do that, before I do that, I'm gonna hit save. Okay, I'm gonna hit save uh, because yeah, see, we can't actually get out of here. <laughs> we're, we're actually going to be trapped. So, uh, you might be saying, well, John, why did you do that? What are you going to do now? Uh, so what you got to do is you have to quit the game and reload. That's why I saved. But it won't save me in there. It just saves progress. You always respawn from the main entrance of the overworld. So, BRB. You know what? Maybe it's worth it to show the game over screen when you quit. You might as well get that out of the way early.
This is what could happen if we fail our mission. King K. Rule will destroy DK Island. We can't let this happen, right? All right, just like that, we are back. So yeah, just thought that's something I'd show off. There, there's a couple of other exploits as well, but like I said, I'm probably not gonna use them. Uh, I just thought it was something I should show off because at least that's one I know I can do. Um, and you know what, it is useful, I guess, for speedrunners. You get the 30 golden bananas and then you can break in there sooner uh, then maybe you'd be able to normally unlock it and get started on that level, but personally, we're not going for a speed run here. As we collect our first golden banana, very good, I suppose I should say what my plan is, and my plan is to get everything. I believe this game has 100 and something 103 percent they, they or something like that it goes beyond 100 just because the devs are silly but it is something that i want to do i want to get all of the things and uh, that's my plan you'll regret this now you might be saying john aren't you gonna go ahead through that cave right there and you know maybe see the first real level the answer is no because this episode's already pretty long so we're gonna end it there Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're excited for this new regular series that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, if you are, hammer the like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you guys next time for more Donkey Kong 64. Bye!